We're in Austria and we have just arrived to the beautiful mountain town of Kitzbühel and behind me is the hotel we'll be staying at and I'm going to be exploring Kitzbühel and after that Ötztal here in Tyrol. But before we head out, I wanted to show you my room. Let's pause here for a second because I'm actually not in Austria. I'm still in London and I am not yet traveling internationally so I figured I would resurrect some old footage from trips I took in the past and this particular trip took place back in 2017 so it's a pretty long time ago but it's definitely worth sharing because it's full of extreme sports and the great outdoors which I think is incredibly topical now because that's just a good place to be so I'm gonna unpause this now that I've explained it all and go on that room tour because it was pretty incredible this is where you come in and the first thing you see, aside from yourself in the mirror, is a column. There are like several columns in the room. Then here we have a walk-in closet, which by the way, I don't even have at home. All right, heading out, here is a little living room, some gorgeous art, but the best part of it all is obviously the view, which you may have seen behind me already, but come on, come on. Here is a, the bedroom which looks spectacular. It's got a TV, but I think we're gonna be looking outside a lot more because this is our view. But the tour isn't over. Here is our bathroom. They even left some orchids here. There's more! Okay, here is a second bathroom with an amazing rain shower and a second toilet and a mirror. Honestly, I am over the moon. This is an incredible, incredible suite. Mm -hmm. Would not mind teleporting there right now. Um, the reason I was in such a swanky hotel, by the way, is that I was attending a conference in Tyrol at the beginning of my trip and they took care of the hotel. I'm not sure I could afford this one, um, but it was really, really fun. And travel blogging conferences are quite different to your like regular work conference uh, in that they are basically just giant parties. So I have put it all together into a 30 second montage. <laughs> Well, that's the conference done, and now we can get on with those extreme sports that I mentioned earlier. And we're about to travel to a new town in order to do that called Utstal. Hello from Utstal. We have just driven two hours from Kitzbühel to get here. Today, we're gonna be really active. We're gonna hop on our bikes. We're going whitewater rafting later. But before we do that, I wanted to show you this gorgeous room that we have here. This is our living room. We even get a little cooking station gorgeous flat screen TV and then we have our bed the actual most important bit you see that that is a mountain peak with snow on it after checking in we went to get food in town at a place called post hotel castle they had a really nice traditional Austrian menu I was actually vegan at the time but meat dishes are really what they're best known for after lunch, we explored some of Utstal just to stretch our legs before our first adventure, a little e-biking trip. <laughs> I'd never been on an electric bike before and it's safe to say I um, had a few reservations. I used to have a bit of a thing against um, e-bikes because I thought, eh, it's a little bit, you know, it's cheating. But actually, it's nice to get to the top of a hill without breaking a sweat. I'll be honest, I still prefer regular bikes, but it was a really fun experience. Now I'm going to stop talking and let you enjoy the views for a bit. So that was day one and frankly just the beginning check out what we did on the next day because it just keeps getting progressively more and more adventurous as we go 
We just had a very lovely breakfast, which consisted of the biggest bread selection I've ever seen. And now we are at Area 47, which is not to be confused with Area 51. This has nothing to do with aliens, but it has everything to do with being active. Water skiing, it has zip lining, it has white water rafting, and that's exactly what we're gonna start with. Tyrol is a great place for whitewater rafting because it's adventurous but not scary. What I found much scarier was this slide at Area 47. And in order to warm up, I decided to go on the slide next to it first. They called it a surf slide and you get a little board that you can slide down on. <laughs> And then it was time for the real thing. Oh my god, that looks so painful. <laughs> Becky, what are your thoughts? I'm just so pumped for the adrenaline and we keep wanting to go on everything. Yes! And we just did that slide that you may see behind me and right now we're gonna do a huge zip line. I wouldn't say I'm someone who's particularly scared of heights. I mean, I've jumped out of an airplane once, but for some reason, this little climb absolutely terrified me. I genuinely barely made it across, and um, I think that really comes across in the following clip. Oh no, I did not enjoy this at all. That was terrible. That was so So after an action-packed day yesterday, you know, white water rafting and flying through the air, I wasn't sure how we'd be able to top it, but we found a way. We are going mountain biking down a really tall mountain. We have a guide with us who's gonna teach us how to do it really fast, but fairly safely. So I am all padded out and ready to go. First of all, we took a cable car to the top of the mountain. Despite it being summer, there was still snow at the summit, which made for some pretty incredible views. Once we arrived, our mountain bikes were already waiting for us. Now, I grew up cycling in the mountains every single summer, so I figured this would be pretty similar and, um, well, I couldn't have been more wrong. Mountain biking of this sort is very intense. So intense, in fact, that every single person in my group fell off their bike at some point in our journey. I lost balance because I went over the ledge. You okay. slid down head first, yeah, so you kind of hit your, the back of your neck. Luckily, my friend was fine, but I'm not gonna lie, I was very, very happy when we reached the restaurant and could get off our bikes. We spent the rest of the day at this futuristic spa called Aquadome before hitting up another mountain the next day, but this time to go up it rather than down. Another day to roll, another adventure. Yesterday we did mountain biking and today we're doing my first ever Via Ferrata and we're gonna be climbing up to Strubenfall, which is a huge, beautiful waterfall here in the area. So I'm very excited, but yet again, a little bit scared. A Via Ferrata means iron path in English. This refers to the metal rungs and ladders that enable visitors to cross otherwise tricky, steep, rocky terrain. These paths come in varying degrees of difficulty. This one in Stubenfell was for beginner to intermediate climbers and as a complete novice, I found it perfect. It was a little bit scary at times, but in a way I found very manageable. Most notably though, the views were incredible. You can go on a Via Ferrata by yourself, but I definitely recommend hiring a guide if you're new to this. It's not like you can just turn around and get off halfway through the journey if things get too intense, and a guide will be there to get you through safely. Safely and sanely. <laughs> Like my new favorite thing. I thought 
thought I was going to be super scared, not a huge fan of heights, who is? But I wasn't, I rocked, like honestly, I'm so proud of myself. So that was my adventure pack trip to Tyrol. If you have any questions about the places I visited, then drop them in a comment below. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next Friday. Out with the Zen Truth.